Kevin. What were you doing? Well, I was doing a little experiment. Did you guys notice what I did? Did you notice what I did different here from what I would normally do with like a piece of steel? Wear a mask? <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Um, working with some 5051 aluminum. This is on that big bell project I've been working on. And I'm just grinding off this little weld I put on the edge just to fix my little boo-boos from earlier when I welded the two pieces together. And all I was trying to do was grind off of the metal and off of the metal because that's the way the wheel rotates. So as I was, as I was grinding on this side, the pad is coming off the metal and as I'm grinding up here, the pad is coming off the metal. So what I was trying to get was just a sharp edge right here. By grinding up this way and off that way, this should have come out to a nice sharp, uh, nice sharp edge. And then I could just come back with the grinder and just hit it one time just to break that edge off. But you can see I still have a little bit of fill to do right there. So what I can do is either get out the spool gun, it's right behind me, or get out a AC TIG welder and just come along and run one more little bead right there. Just enough to fill that up so I can grind it off, hit it one time at a 45, and just get a nice clean edge all along there. And it seems to have the spool gun is right here behind me, and it's only gonna take me a second or two. Rather than put this one away, get out a whole new machine, set it all up, I'll just go ahead and grab the spool gun, turn it down just a little bit. Turn my voltage down, turn my wire feed down just a little. Don't want a big glob, just want to fill in that little tiny little imperfection right there. So running the Everlast uh, Power MTS 251SI, uh, I had it set at 17 and a half volts and 484 on the wire feed. Let me drop down to about 464 and I'm going to drop down to about oh, 16 and a half on the volts. Set it in memory. Goose the gun just a little, just to hear, to hear the gas come out. Make sure I've got gas right here. Now you can see I got a pretty sharp edge right there. One little bit, you know, boo-boo, one little boo-boo there. But those are small enough that when I come back with the grinder and just hit it at a 45, those will all just go right away. They'll just be gone. Now you can see those little imperfections are gone right there. So that's what you have to do to get that nice clean edge, you know, to get it look like, well, did he weld that or not? You know, was that just a solid box that he you know, bent over his knee? And don't forget, especially when you're grinding on aluminum, the dust that comes off of them, you really screw up your lungs. You know, wear a mask, you know, glasses, hearing protection, all that. But you gotta have some kind of mask on to keep that dust out of your lungs. Why don't you guys pop out to my website, sign up for my newsletter, and check out in the works you know you can watch this thing being built you can see my next project as i get it started also so i'm going to get back to doing this you guys are going to come out and say hi and i'll see y'all next week guys are you tired of a beard this will do it